Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to see how to move data from one database to another. And we are going to do so with select into and insert into. Okay, when you are using select into, it creates a table as you move the data. So because it creates the table as you move the data, you do not have to have an existing table ready in your database. It will create it as it moves it. With insert into, you must have an existing table ready for the data you're about to move. So the differences between these two are that one requires you to have the, the table ready, the other does not. Okay, so let's see how to use these two in SQL 7 Manager in the studio. So again, I'm going to uh, click on this plug and then create a connection to my database engine. Now for this demo, we are going to move data from AdventureWorks 2019 to our own database. If you have been following through my demos, then I believe you either have a portfolio DB or a test DB. Either of them is going to work fine. I am going to use my test DB. Again, if you do not have any database besides AdventureWorks, this is how you create a new database. You right click on databases, new database, and then you put in a name. Uh, I have test, so I'm just gonna, no, I have test DB, I'm just gonna say test. And I'll hit okay. So you see now I have a database created, okay? But because I already have test DB, I'm just going to delete this one and then use one of my existing databases. I'm going to use my test DB here for this demo. All right, so I'm going to select that database and I'll click on new query. Now, before I dive into today's demo, I want to answer the question that I have provided in my previous video on string manipulations, right? It was just one question. Do I have it here? Yes. Now, the question is that, uh, we want to be able to create full address with existing columns in the address table in AdventureWorks. So we wanted to be able to concat the address line one, line two, city and postal code, and then return just one column, okay? And that one column, we wanted to call it full address. So this is my solution. I use the concat with separator function so that I don't have to type in my comma and space more than once. So uh, I put in a comma here and then there's a space after the comma then I pass in all the, the, the columns that I want to put in my full address, okay? So if I execute this string, sorry, if I execute this query block, this is the full address. That was what the question demanded, right? So I have combined address line one, and if it had address line two, then yeah, if it didn't, then it will skip it, okay? And then there is a city, and then there is a postal code. So yeah, this is how you were supposed to answer that question in the string manipulation video, all right? So now that we have completed this, let's click on the new query again, and then let's start with select into. So with select into, in my, in my comment, I said that it creates the table as you move it, as you move the data. So you have to specify the name of the table that you want to create. For this particular example, we are going to move data from the present or present table in AdventureWorks. Now, if you see here, when I was running the, the script for the previous uh, question, right? I had to pass the database name because I was in my test DB, all right? Because I hadn't selected uh, I hadn't selected adventure works at the top here, I had to pass the database that I was trying to pull the data from. So again, I'm still in test DB and I'm going to do same. So I'm going to do select stuff from and in adventure works, let me drag the database here first. And then the schema is present. And then the data, the table again is pressing. Okay. All right. So now I see all the data in there. Now I want to select some specific columns. I want just the first name, middle name, last name. Okay. And then maybe full name. Let me just uh, copy and paste one of my uh, scripts here. All right. So. I want this uh, data that I had just uh, selected from AdventureWorks. I want to send that data into my test DB, okay? And I want to put it in a table called pressing. So I'm going to say that select all of these, right? And then this is where I pass my into, all right? And then the table name that I want to put this data into, I want to call it uh, pressing. You can choose to pass the schema or not, but the, the, the default schema is DBO. So I can do this, and I want to say DB. Let me call it people, just so we can see the difference. All right. So as I as I have here in my test DB, let me see the tables I have. 
I have a customer table and then I have a product table. I do not have people. So what we are doing right now is that we are selecting data from AdventureWorks, these specific columns, and then we are going to dump that data into a table that does not exist yet, but as we run the script, it's going to create it and then it's going to dump the data in there for us, all right? It has about 19,972 rows. So let's see how it works. And remember, I didn't pass the database name here on line number six because I'm already in TestDB. That is where I want the people's table to be created. So I run this. Perfect. So the exact number of rows are affected. So now let's refresh our tables here. Look at that. We have people. Now, if we select top 1,000 rows, this is the exact data that we had created here. And now we have dumped that data into a table in our test DB. This is an easy way to move data in SQL Server, right? So now that we, let me close out of this, okay? So now that we have this, let's see how we can create uh, we can um, create a table without inserting the data with select into, okay? So what we are about to do is that I'm going to you know paste this same script here, and I'm going to remove line number eleven. When I run this script, I get a 19972, right? But when I put in a where clause, where let me say business entity ID is equal to zero. I don't think there is any record in here with business entity ID zero, okay? It returns nothing. So if I just want to create a table that is empty without actually going through the create table statement, I can simply do this. For these same columns, okay, I'm going to create a table in my test DB, but this time it will not dump any data in there because this condition evaluates to nothing, right? So instead of people, let me just say, um, Select all of these into just just call it person because I don't have person in my test DB anyways. So let me run this quickly and let's see. All right, it says zero rows affected, but the table structure must be there. Okay, so let me refresh this. There we go. We have people. We have person. Now person should be blank. We have the table structure, but no data. So now that we have an empty table. <laughs> We are going to use that to dive into insert into. Remember, insert into is supposed to have an existing table ready for the data to be moved. Okay, so I'm just going to put here a subheader, insert into, and then you have to have your your new table and then your existing data. So I'm going to use the same script. I'm going to select all that, and instead of select into, okay, this is just a simple select statement. So I'm going to put here at the top, insert into. And I want to insert into my empty table here. Remember we created this where there was no value, so it created an object, but no data, right? So I'm going to insert into the person table here. So I'm going to drag it here. So I'm going to insert into person, all of these columns. Remember the person table has only four columns and I'm trying to insert data into all of them, right? So I don't have to actually pass uh, the, the, the column names that I really want to insert data into. So I'm just going to run this and then it's a cute. Nice. So right now we didn't used to have data in the person table, but if we check again, we should have data in there now. So now we have data in person table and then data in people's table. All right. So this is how to use both insert into and select into in SQL Server. So this brings us to the end of today's video on uh, select into and insert into. Now, before I go, I want to give an assignment or a to-do. Now on this one, I just want you to be able to create a new table in your test DB or whatever uh, name you provided for your database. Create a new table with uh, called employee and make sure you are selecting just the ID, the job title, and then the hire date from the employee table. And then you're dumping that data into that employee table. Now, it doesn't matter whether you go with a select into approach or insert into approach, as long as you're able to create a new table in your uh, database and then you have moved the data, that is perfect, okay? All right, so this brings us to the end of today's demo. I hope to catch you in the next one. Uh, do like my videos and then do share them as well and I'm hoping that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.